Good morning. Uh, this is my uh, uh, video response to um, the situation um, that's been unfolding with the Gorilla Pasta Company. Um, there's been a lot of controversy over the, a few remarks that were made by the uh, top executives of, uh, of the company Barilla, the pasta maker. Uh, you've probably seen the commercials. Uh, you know, ah, oh, Barilla. Uh, they came out with some remarks that uh, uh, were very, um, how do you say this, anti same sex. Uh, they came out supporting traditional values. Um, in my opinion, it's really for a business. I don't think it's a good move to uh, uh, support. How do you say? It's not really a good move to support uh, one side, any one side of a political uh, debate. Um, I mean, you know, you're, until, you're entitled to your opinion, and that's ultimately what I support more than anything, that uh, they have a right to their opinion. Um, I have a right to have my own opinion, and it doesn't matter if that opinion matches or doesn't match. That's what, that's what the beautiful thing is about America. You can have an opinion, you can express it, um, and it doesn't have to match somebody else. Um, now, there's been a lot of outcry uh, from the uh, same-sex community um, over this. Uh, I get it. I get it. You know, they you know, they told you that if you don't like that, what they stand for, that you can eat somebody else's pasta. Maybe the, you know, maybe the words that he used weren't exactly the smartest choice. Um, but again, it's his right. He didn't suppress anybody else's rights. In doing so, he didn't really physically discriminate uh, against anybody. Now, if the company comes out and says, um, you know, from here on out, we will not hire anybody who has a same-sex orientation. We will not hire anybody. We will not serve anybody. We will not do business with you if, if you're same-sex. Um, then I could then, then I could see, okay, something's not right here. Uh, that's not right. Because it wouldn't be. But for somebody to simply express their opinion, um, it doesn't make it wrong just because it's not the same opinion you have. Um, the same thing goes for the uh, Chick-fil-A incident that we had um, last year. Um, I hope that this doesn't turn into the same type of thing. I really hope it doesn't. It was the, the Chick-fil-A, the way that this, the way the same-sex community, um, uh, the... LGBT community, the way that was handled by the community, not all gay people, not all bi people, not all people did acted like this, but the actual community, the actual movement itself handled this in the most disgusting, foul, hypocritical way ever possibly imagined. Uh, the same group that preaches uh, against bullying so hard, uh, against discrimination, uh, they preach tolerance out the wazoo. Um, tolerate, 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 coexist. Um, then as soon as somebody comes out with uh, uh, and expresses opinion and it doesn't cater to them, it doesn't kiss their ass uh, right away, um, Chick-fil-A stores get vandalized, um, the employees get harassed, uh, they get threatened at the establishments, um, uh, graffiti written all over buildings uh, that belong to the, the company. Um, lawsuits are actually filed to try to get the company to not be allowed to do business because of it. Um, I got to say, is the most hypocritical thing I have ever seen or heard in my life. And um, and people think that uh, church folks are, hip are hypocrites. Um, and I have my opinion on church folks and that's for a different blog I guess that's not for here but um, uh, they're actually saints compared to the way the LGBT community reacted to uh, Chick-fil-A simply expressing 
um, their traditional viewpoints on things. Um, here's my uh, here's my um, two cents. I'm going to throw it in. Whether anybody wants my two cents or not, I'm throwing it in. Um, if you don't like what a company stands for, um, don't buy the product. Don't support them with your um, with your money, and really, that's like the only thing you can really do. Um, I mean, you know, it's not like Chick Fil A was saying we won't serve you chicken. Uh, we're not going to give you a, a job. You can't run our register, or you can't clean our tables. Uh, you can't cook our food if you're gay. Nothing like that was ever said. There was never anything. And as a matter of fact. Um, it, it, this wasn't widely reported on the news, but it was on a few outlets uh, that the uh, the media did report us a little bit, uh, which, which really shocked me. I didn't think they would report it. Um, a, a few places during some of the protests that the LGBT community held outside of Chick-fil-A buildings, Chick-fil-A actually brought out bottled water. Uh, it was hot. and They brought out bottled water for the protesters free of charge. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> and people still, you know, people don't recognize that and say, I mean, you know, it, it, why would you, if you don't like what the company stands for, don't go to that establishment. If you don't like what Barilla says about gay people, buy San Giorgio, um, um, the heck other kind of pasta companies there are, there's, the uh, Heck, sure fine uh, markets of pasta. Uh, wise quality markets of pasta, um, great value uh, markets of pasta. There are all different kinds of pastas that you could uh, that you could buy. Um, you know, don't give them your money. If you don't agree with what they say, don't give them your money. Um, whining and complaining about it, it's not like you're not allowed to have pasta anymore. It's not like there's no way you can ever eat spaghetti again because you're a gay. Um, I mean, the man has a right to his opinion. The company has a right to their opinion, and so do you. I mean, if, if you don't like what they have to say, you have every right to call for a boycott. You have every right to buy elsewhere. You have every right to complain about it. Uh, however, uh, there's a line that gets crossed that um, you really shouldn't cross, and that's when you start vandalizing, threatening, harassing. Uh, you start... Um, uh, Talk, you talk, start talking lawsuits to get the place uh, tossed out of business because of their views. That's hypocritical. Uh, it doesn't fly. It's, it's not going to work. It only makes you look more of an ass. Um, there's a saying, and this comes from the Bible. It's better to be thought to remain silent and be thought a fool than to open your mouth and to remove all doubt. And I think that that's what the LGBT community, uh, the mistake they made um, during the Chick-fil-A. And I hope they don't make the same mistake as this. And that was they opened their mouth and removed all doubt. Um, I uh, hold traditional values myself. Um, I have a right to hold those values. I don't hate anybody. I don't wish anybody dead. I really, and I don't wish anybody... Um, would get cancer and die um, because they don't agree with me, uh, like certain people did during the Chick Fil A incident. Oh, I hope anybody who eats Chick Fil A gets cancer. Um, you know, have some class, have some, uh, you know, have some common decency and some and use common sense. Um, hell, I mean, if um, you know, that would be like saying, oh, Cheerios. Um, uh, Cheerios didn't um, uh, donate to uh, Toys for Tots or something this year, so you know, let's get them thrown out of business. It's ridiculous. Um, go about your day. Go about your life. Buy a different pasta. Buy a chicken sandwich at McDonald's or Wendy's. Burger King has chicken sandwiches. Um, I should believe Hardee's might even have chicken sandwiches now. Um, buy somebody else's chicken sandwich. Give your hard-earned money to somebody who uh, who you more agree with. I don't go to McDonald's anymore. Number one, I don't like their food that much. Uh, and number two, um, their uh, stance on amnesty. 
for illegal immigrants does not match with mine. I do not think that there's there should be any amnesty. They also get shipped home. Shipped back to where they come from. McDonald's doesn't agree with that. They support amnesty. They support illegals being here. They support crime. So I don't support McDonald's. I'm not running around trying to get them kicked out of business. I'm not scribbling stuff all over the walls. Uh, I'm not threatening workers through the drive through I'm just, I just don't go there. Um, eat somebody else's pasta. Eat spaghetti somewhere else. Go buy spaghetti down the road or lasagna or whatever the heck it is you want to buy. Don't buy Barilla. Don't buy Chick-fil-A if you don't like what they have to say. Don't buy McDonald's if you don't like what they have to say. Um, I recently uh, decided not to go to Starbucks anymore. Uh, that's for another vlog as well. Um, but that's my point. Um, live and let live. Somebody has an opinion that doesn't match with yours, let them alone. Just don't talk to them. In the case of a company, you know, hey, if you have a friend or somebody... Who has an opinion you don't, you know, you don't agree with? If it gets that bad that you can't handle it that much, you just stop talking to the person. Stop buying the product of the, of the company that you don't like what they have to say. Bottom line, I think that's the way everybody should be looking at this. I don't think anybody should be out there acting, you know, acting like Barilla has committed a crime. Uh, it is not a hate crime to not agree with um, same-sex marriage. It's not a hate crime to uh, support traditional marriage. Um, that's not a hate crime. That's just having your opinion. That's expressing your faith. And the bottom line here is, is that we are asked to accept other people's faiths. I can live with that. However, I will not compromise my values. I will not compromise my faith. If the cost of accepting your values is to deny mine, then the cost will always and forever be way too high. Thank you.